Hey everybody, it's Josh with Resort TV One and I am live for Tranquil Tuesday here starting out at Disney Springs and heading on some boats. So I hope you guys are ready for some relaxing boat rides around this beautiful area. We wanted to start in Disney Springs, got some dinner parked over here and we're going to head first over to 
Old Key West because we didn't get to do it last time and I want to do it. This time it's one of my favorite resorts. So if you are new to the channel, definitely check out that subscribe button right below the video. Also, check out the notification bell to be notified every time we go live or have a new video. Also, be sure to follow us on social media. We're Resort TV1 on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. So welcome, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you guys. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little intro there. I hadn't intended to take it that long, but it seemed like the right thing to do. Sometimes you just gotta go with your gut. My gut was saying, don't talk. <laughs> it was nice though. And there was like literally hardly any people there, at least down in that area. <clears throat> so, had a lot of people saying they wanted to do boats like this for Tranquil Tuesday, or jazz club beignets, all that kind of stuff, but I thought, you know what? I wanna do some boats, so we can kind of do a little bit of boats. So maybe we'll, we'll head out for some jazz at uh, Port Orleans French Quarter, and maybe then we'll also do just some boat riding. We'll definitely do some boat riding, but we'll go to lots of different places and enjoy, so. Hey David, hey DBC, Sabrina, Duncan, Liza. Hello. Let's see where we're going here. Uh, Okie West, we want a green flag. Okay. Always wanted to see Okie West, yeah. I did a vlog and a stream there at some point. Uh, I did a little stream there one morning. This will be my first time back there, so I kind of have to get over the hump a little bit, so to speak. The last time I was there, my dog passed away the same night, so a little bit of bad memories, but it's a great resort, and there's more good memories than bad memories there, so I will, I will persevere, and we will have a great night, because I want to do it. So, hey Wendy, hey Noel, hey Vicky, Vicky, uh, hey Classy Disney Mom, Karen, and Nancy, loving the land. Thanks for streaming Tranquil Tuesday, absolutely. Especially Leslie, Fantastic Magics, Robert Gross, Allie R, Regina, yeah, go ahead and hit the like everybody, Resort Hopper, I be Rebecca. Beignets, yeah, I think we might do that. I only got half, I, I stopped at Blaze Pizza, I only got half a pizza there, so. So that's, uh, that was my goal. Thanks guys. But I had to have Blaze Pizza because it's so good. Oh, you're very welcome, Kelly. Hello, Triple A Sparkles. Hello, Fantastic Magics. Yep, I definitely need it today, too. So, it's been a rocky start to the school year, but we're finally, we're making some progress, and I'm excited. Progress is being made. Just takes time to get it all right. I'm not going to ride the balloon today, but yeah. Definitely not out of the question for the future, for sure. For sure, guys. Hey, blessed be. Todd wants the other half of the pizza, yeah, for sure. Hey, Jason. Hi, Anesthesia. That's right, David. Tiffany stayed there on the last trip. Plymouth Rock. Noel, Yoda Best. Hey, Blue Polo. All right, hey, James. How are you? Joe, Joe Cook, Wade, Trout, Wombat. Love that. Okay, so. Hey, Betsy. So we'll see what's going on here. So we'll just wait and see what, what, what time or when our boat comes. I believe I'm on the right side, though. Well, technically I'm on the left side, but you know. Hey Wonderland, Alice and Mara is here. We're awesome moppers. And Mara too, to be precise. Hey Allie. Uh, let's see, Nanny Pooh Bear. Wonderland, Alice, Alley Cats, Robert, Stacy with an IE. Richard, MN, Dietz. Is it a pedal boat in the distance or a building that looks like a pedal boat? Uh, there aren't pedal boats out here. There were uh, car boats, the Amphicars. The only thing, they don't have pedal boats out here. We got, good question. Hey Pete. Hope you have a great school year from one music teacher to another. That's awesome, Pete. Hello, B Meager. What's up, Josh? Hi, how are you? How are you? Good. What's your name? Jason and Jim from Mackers. Nice to meet you guys. Oh, awesome. Where are you guys from? Pennsylvania. Okay. 
Very cool. How's the Drury? They uh, they invited us out to a couple um, grand opening things there, but we could never make it because it was uh, work and things like that going on. So that was good. Oh really? Wow. Nice. That's awesome. Did you guys want to say hi on the stream? <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. Hi everybody. <laughs> so cool. Well, let's see. Where are you guys headed? We're just going boat riding. Oh, I love it. That's, I'm headed to uh, Old Key West, I think. I gotta figure out which boat goes where, but it's cool. Yeah, we're just riding boats around. We have dinner over there in the boathouse. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a great place. Great place. Old Key straight ahead, so you're taking to the left. Old Key West? Straight ahead. Straight ahead, perfect. MMS 7415, 499. Thanks for the tranquility it's needed today. Thank you. Well, it's nice to meet you guys one way or the other. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. I uh, probably will. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, MMS7415, thanks for the tranquility. Yeah, thank you for that 499 super chat. Appreciate it. Tranquility is what we're about today. Sorry. There we go. Got behind. Okay. Awesome. Leave them in there. Leave them in there. Leave them in there. All right. So. I'll go right here. Yeah, let's see. Let's go over here. Yep, there we go. <laughs> the Miley Cyrus, everybody. It's the Disney Springs song. It is a party in the USA, in fact. Welcome aboard. For your safety, if you're seated, remain seated. Hello, Charlene. Outside of the U.S. Navy, Walt Disney World has the largest fleet of boats in the country. 750. Wow. I did not know that. I did not know that. Okay. My backpack off here. Do it, guys. Ooh, bus, bus, what does it say? Starting my school lessons. That's cool. I thought you said bassoon lessons for a second. I was like, that's cool too. Hello, my crazy grown up wife. Hi, everybody. I'll be quiet for a little bit of the ride and then we'll chat a little bit. We'll do a little bit of both. So enjoy. answer that one yes brass instruments have to be tuned yep there's a tuning slide on david said it is may not be in chat tonight it's been a tough two days oh i'm sorry to hear that david i hope that things smooth out or get better i hope that it's, everything's okay
know the air conditioner, not air conditioner, sorry. <laughs> Sounds like an air conditioner. I know the uh, motor is loud. I probably shouldn't have sat in the back, but that's okay. Uh, just as I say that. Oh. All right. Music changed. Well, David, I'm glad everything's okay then. Being sore, I remember that. Did all the different band camps and stuff, we were very sore for sure. But it's super fun and the best times of your life, so I know she knows that. All worth it, for sure. This is the LBB golf course. It's actually a little walking trail, as you can see, for people and golf carts. These bridges are one lane, so you have the boats have to wait for each other. Somebody said the 100 degree heat down made it to uh, Nebraska. Yeah, it's been hot, guys. Ooh, speaking of which, I'm going to move over a little bit. Saratoga over here to the right. Eager at Van Camp last week. Okay. Thanks for being here, Richard. Uh, Lisa with a uh, $3 pair character punch in the air with a fist bump. Awesome. Thank you so much, Lisa. I'll have to ask Gail about that in Mara.
clearly now. So apparently, I've never done it before, but apparently there's a walking path between Oak Key West and Disney Springs. I don't know if it's still open or not, but I heard there was. I not just heard, I've seen it on a map. Oak Key West is one of our homes, absolutely. Oh, here we are. Speaking of which, Oak Key West, right here. flood control gates that they have here. I just love this view from here. It's so nice. Actually had a room along this river one time. It's so cool. Hello, Danny. Hi, a little bit. Trail closes at dusk. Okay, cool. Well, obviously, we won't be using it today then, but definitely cool to know it's still there. So beautiful. Wow, birds. Your kids don't start till the second week of September. Wow. Now we started August 10th. back to teaching today. Okay, well I'm glad glad you got back. I hope that everything was good. Thank you. 
very hot. Explore this place. Good. Oh, thanks. All right. You have to watch your step because you can walk right in the water. <laughs> All right. There you go. All right. Yeah, we used to stay here all the time. And the reason was we actually, this wasn't our home oh, sure. resort, but we were stayed here because it was very, uh, the rooms were big. Now these, if, if you don't know the history of this place, it used to just be called Disney Vacation Club. So this resort it used to be the only vacation club resort. It was the first, and for a while it was the only vacation club resort. Gorgeous. And then they changed it when they, they built other vacation club resorts. They changed it to Old Key West. But this opened around 1991, from what I understand. And there's been some refurbishment, especially for the lobby area within the last few years. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, it's just a very iconic place. It has some very great memories for me. Come on, explorers! Yeah, <laughs> like Mr. Ray. Hi, Christina. Hi, Carly. Hi, John. And again, I want to remind everybody, if you are complaining about nobody talking to you, you are not going to be spoken to. <laughs> it's such a beautiful place. I love these chandeliers here. Hi, Joseph. There you go. That's better. <laughs> All right. But yeah, this is just, for me, it's like super just iconic and great, great memories for sure. It's a wonderful place. Here's Olivia's. Hey, Lily's life. Olivia's is so, so good. And they just, well, they started dinner a while ago, but they're, they have a wonderful Wonderful menu, and they have great burgers here. I, I had Blaze Pizza for dinner, I already said that, but. So here's the menu. Um, very, just a kind of a uh, basic menu for dinner, but it's still really great stuff. Lots of very high quality items. So you see the appetizers there. You can pause if you want to. Dale Clay, hello. I saw you earlier, I didn't get a chance to say hi. Dale, good question. First of all, the bacon cheeseburger is really great. I've also heard the, um, where's the shrimp? No, like a certain kind of shrimp, I don't know. Either way, um, and you can see the uh, brunch menu. Um, so Dale, actually, this was my second live stream ever, I believe. Um, the first one was at Disney Springs. So yeah, very close though. I was here with Steph. And mom and dad were watching Liam. I'm currently making uh, friendship bracelets, that's cool. So the only issue with coming over here is that we're, we are definitely going to have to, um, we're definitely going to have to ride the boat to get back. And so we'll just have to ride it back to where we came from at Disney Springs. There are no other boats that go anywhere. There's no other way to get back to Port Orleans. So that's all right. It's another relaxing ride. I'll just make sure and not ride in the, uh, in the back. But this is the Porta Cachere and the, um, and the bus stop. Staying on Caribbean Beach. I like it. Uh, I just hadn't stayed there that much. It's just really big, so just be prepared with, with, and this resort's really big too, but be prepared with all these large resorts to do a little more walking after you get done with the parks. They do have multiple bus stops, which is good, but you can still be quite a ways from a bus stop. Of all the things, all the times we went to Walt Disney World, we never stayed on site. I love seeing different resorts. Yeah, Betsy, they're really, really cool. But I remember, I remember getting out of the car. We'd drive down from Indiana. I remember getting out of the car and seeing this. And you knew you were home. Like literally, you just knew you were home. 
I also remember one other thing. I'm sharing some weird, not weird, just, just random type memories with you. So I can't, there's people standing there now, but there's a bench right there. Okay, so there's a bench right there. And I remember sitting on that bench, one of those benches, and looking up at the sky and seeing basically that view right there and just being super thankful that I was in Florida. Isn't that awesome? Oh, 1,999 hoppers watching, but there's room for 2,000. Is the resort themed to Princess and the Frog? No, that's Port Orleans, I think. Yep, no, I think it is. So we'll go in the general store here in a minute, but I don't know, it's just so fun. Great memories. As Christopher Black says, staying in the resorts is worth the money. I agree, Christopher. Now this is different than it used to be. This is very different. So, it's like a nice refurbishment there. Yes, for sure. Well, this used to be very different. I don't remember exactly, but it used to be different. So, we'll play some chess. We got very thankful to be in Florida. We're ready to go, and then we have trains. Down above this Florida East Coast Railway. It is nice and cool in the shade. Looks like we're maybe lagging a little. Looks like the stream is taking care of itself. This is cool though. This is literally like a giant living room. So that's pretty cool. Now look at this. Fried chicken is what I got the last time. Nice. As a child, were both your parents high school teachers? No. Uh, mom taught uh, field, agriculture. Used to have a lot. It's still a neat place, and you got a place for the kids to hang out, and just really neat place. So, sure is. Hold on. Okay. I remember last. You get the point. Okay. So funny. All right. We're back now. Thanks for telling us, guys. All right. All good now. Florida Parks After Dark. Welcome in, guys. They were telling me the other day they are our 27th subscriber. Not 27,000. Not 2,700. 27. That's pretty cool. So guys, welcome them to the chat and um, they're doing some streams and some vlogs and stuff. If you wanna go check that out, I know they'd appreciate it. So thanks for being here guys. And thanks for being our 27th subscriber. That's pretty cool. Anyway, we're all back now. Good to go. Yeah, it's just that little spot in there. So we should be fine while we're outside. I remember that for last time we were here. But you got the gist of it, right? Now there's an outdoor eating area for uh, Olivia's. And then these are some places where you can, their little gurgling suitcase and you can get uh, some drinks and then you can get, uh, what's the other name of the thing called? Um, you can get quick service over here too. We used to always stay here at the pool, you know, certain afternoons. Oh, good, it's food to go. Yep, and we would uh, just hang out and enjoy. So, yeah, there's such cool stuff here. Oh, and here, the license plates are so neat. So that's pretty cool. And look at all the different license plates. Those are donated by different people after they stopped using them. So that's pretty cool. All right, and then this is Goods, Food to Go, Restaurant. And I mean, this is not, I did, a full tour, I did a full tour of this resort a while back, so definitely check that out for the full tour. But uh, this is not intended to be that. But yeah, it's just one of those things wanted to show you there's a community hall pretty cool in there don't wanna, yeah. I'm not staying here so I won't go in there right now but it is a pretty cool place if you are staying there right, we should be good now right hi Phil hi Stuart is the resort comparable in size to Riverside um, I think so it's really big the buildings are taller as you can see over here Are you a Star Wars fan? Um, I am, but I definitely won't be watching 
um, Ashoka tonight. I know it's a big deal. I just haven't even catch, caught up on, or I haven't even kept up on Mandalorian. So the pool is really cool. That water slide was not always there, but it is now. So and then there's a lighthouse, and the lighthouse is actually a sauna. So that's pretty fun. And we love renting these bikes too. Super fun. Well, let's go through the shop now while well, it's still pretty warm and then we'll do a little strolling around the resort. Say everybody, hey Perky. Worm Worman, Shall We Hanson, Miss Disney fan, Perky. All right, I'm sorry if I don't, sometimes I don't get everybody when I say hi. Never is intentional, just the way my brain works. <laughs> Oh, thanks a little bit. Appreciate it. Now you can't ride the boats under here. They used to have the little water mouse boats here and you could drive them all the way down to uh, Disney Springs. That was pretty cool. I love that little bridge there. Now they don't want anybody going, you know, boats going under there. It's just for the water to pass through. Stayed in a the room there once before it was nice because it had a nice little patio and chairs. That's awesome, Blue Polo. Hello, Diz Our Dream, how are you? I feel like my gimbal's not straight. Oh well, I guess that's close enough. My other one, my extra gimbal didn't come in yet, so the one that I ordered, so I'm still kind of using the uh, DJI, but it's all right. Yeah, welcome in Diz Our Dream. Hello, Burks. Firewood. Oh. <laughs> Connect four. Uh, no, I haven't gone through port yet. I did uh, Old Key West for us, so we didn't get here last time, so I wanted to do that. What I also want to do is show you Olivia's really quick inside. Obviously, I'm not going to like, not going to do that, but just all the pictures here. It's so cool. Get my good side. Just showing the pictures are so cool here. You know when the last time they actually added to those? That's my favorite one up there. Which one's oh, your favorite? With all the kids. Oh, they're all sleeping. <laughs> yep, that's 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 one of the added benefits of the park, right? Oh yeah, a free nap. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, the chances that all five would be out. Oh, yeah. I only have one, so I don't. You know, I've never tried to get five to sleep before. I mean, they're probably not all in the same family, so just but it just turns out they were all. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> so yeah, all these different pictures and different families and trips and vacations. Super cool. <laughs> the cast members that work here, they know all the things. They know all the best secrets and things. <laughs> Alright, so this is cool. This is that this that was not the front entrance to the shop, but you know you get the you get the idea. We stay there for a week. The birthday cake's the left. Oh yeah the birthday cake castle. Is that what you're talking about? I must have missed it. Sorry. I was Looking at the one the cast member pointed out, but yeah, I think I've seen that before in the past. I believe we're charter members of DVC. That's amazing. I'm looking for the Key West specific stuff. I don't see it. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. Relax. It's a nice one. And it's a Key West hat. If you like 50s Primetime Cafe, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, man, for sure. It's always fun doing that. Always fun roaming. Hey, Bill. Hey, You'll be at Old Key West in three weeks. Awesome. Isn't it a great place? It's one of those hidden gems. People don't, like, go crazy and fight over this resort because their location is not the same as, you know, a Bay Lake Tower or something like that, or even Beach Club that's right next to Epcot, but it's, it's definitely a, a gem for sure. vacation club member. It's pretty cool. And if you're wondering, the polos are about $50, so not too bad. Shirts definitely have gone up <laughs> everywhere. Not just at Disney. That's cool, they have gurgling suitcase. 
Not often I get to wear one. Oh, Cynthia, you and I were on the same wavelength there. And on the back is uh, is the suitcase and it says Old Key West on it. So that's pretty cool. So those are uh, somewhere. 35. That's not bad. And then they have these little mugs and things. No matter where we stay, we hit Olivia's for lunch. Yep, good call. Good call. This is cool. Tommy Bahama. So you know it's going to be, yep, $115. But... Uh, but that's really, really cool. Very well done. This is neat too. This store has a different vibe. It really does. I mean, you know, the steel drum music obviously helps that a little bit, but it's still pretty awesome. Welcome to Halloween. That's the Vacation Club Halloween shirt. You guys, I'm shopping. I don't know if you guys noticed or not. I want to make sure that I'm going to point it out every once in a while. My suitcase gurgles. I know it's time to sit down and have a talk with it. Yeah, That's right. You can buy DVC from a rental place. That's right. Such as David's DVC Rentals. One of our awesome sponsors. DVCRequest.com slash TV. That's David's DVC Rentals. DVCRequest.com slash TV. You can uh, go on there and rent a DVC room, including one right here at Old Key West, for a fraction of the cost. So that is David's DVC Rentals. So yes, if I wanted a room here, I could do that. And uh, actually one of our awesome hoppers get, got us a night here last time we stayed. So proud of you, thanks. I appreciate it, Amy. All right, we still got 50th stuff here. That's cool, like I, I don't believe in, you know, I know the 50th is so big, I don't believe in wasting anything. We got candy stash here, got the Minnie Mouse cookies, chips, even bread. There's bread and you know, you're not gonna get a whole meal here, but. You've got stuff you might need, like at a resort, crackers, Pop-Tarts, cereal, stuff like that. We would always come by here and buy like milk and stuff because we would just eat cereal in the morning to save time and save money, and we were all okay with that. So we would just come over here and buy milk at the at the um, little cooler. So you got a wide assortment of things here at the cooler. And speaking of gurgling suitcase, you got Mickey in a suitcase. And also, you have uh, various beers and wines and waters and Cokes and all the things that you could want. Hello, Rewalt. Hello, Keith. Jenna needs Old Key West here. Sure, why not? I wonder if she already has them because she has a big fond memory of this place too. Ooh, this is neat. Our home, best investment I ever made, our Christmas Turtle Pond trip is so special. So do you guys always get the same? How do you, is there a way you can get Turtle Pond every time? That's pretty cool. I know there's benefits to different sides. We just took usually whatever they gave us, but, but that's cool. And there's the Old Key West ornament here. Oh wow, look at that. Just regular Disney stuff. Now they do provide, if you're not stayed at DBC, they do provide dinnerware, plates, cups, napkins, things. Not napkins, but plates, cups, and things. They do provide those at the um, in the rooms. So that's kind of cool. So yeah. Grilled pork chop. You can ask for it a bit further away. Nice, Cynthia. Cool. I wasn't sure, but that's good to know. Okay. Hi, Lori. I live from Lake Jackson, Texas. The home of Bucky's. Wow. We enjoyed our trip to Bucky's. It was on the Resort TV One Homes channel. Speaking of which, if you want to find your dream home here in Central Florida, <clears throat> definitely check out resorttv1homes.com. Broker by EXP Realty. Fill out the contact form. That's resorttv1homes.com. <clears throat> and fill out the contact form. So you can find your dream home right here in Central Florida. Resorttv1homes.com. And also, 
and you can check out the uh, you can check out the YouTube channel Resort TV One Homes on YouTube. So go check that out, guys. Resort TV One Homes on YouTube. Uh, we did streams on that channel, and uh, we were there. <clears throat> we did the Bucky's video and all the things. So definitely don't miss that. Super nice place to just hang out and relax here. It's just about marshmallow roasting time. Ooh, fun. Always love that, Jeff. Always love it. I think I'm just going to stroll for now, though, because I'm kind of pizza full right now. I did see that the cast members were out there getting ready for the campfire, though. Always love that. Do you have to be a DVC member? Nope, I'm not. No, anybody can ride the transportation. So that's a great way to explore the resorts. And Disney is happy because usually, you know, you're going to go explore something. You're either going to eat there or you're going to shop there or something. They just, they've gotten more strict on the parking because they don't want people that aren't staying here, like, doing the, um, taking up parking spaces. So that's why they've done, why they've had the rules a little different for that. Oh, I guess they're stopping. Okay. Sounds good. Bus, Bucky's is one of restroom trip. Bucky's is when a restroom trip can cost you $65. Yeah, that's a that's their specialty. That's why they've thrived. What if we built the biggest gas station ever and put the most stuff you could just jam into it? It worked. It was a great video. You guys are so fun and Liam so adorable. Thanks, Charlene. Alex says Old Key West is the best. DVC resort. <coughs> nice. We very rarely stayed over here. We mostly stayed off of Peninsula, which is this road I'm on right now. I believe we stayed at Turtle Pond one time. I love this view, though, of the main area. And we would just sit here and, you know, we'd walk down to dinner and we'd walk down to my pool and whatnot. And well, it's good. It's good memories. For sure. Hello. Can you please tell Elsa I said hello? Well, if I see her, I will. <laughs> Probably not today, though. Ooh, there we go. That sun was getting bright there. Sabrina Brescia, I stayed at Saratoga. Nice. Oh, there's different yeah, places like Congress Park and stuff. I don't know Saratoga very well. Incredibly tranquil greetings from Virginia. Welcome. I love driving to Dallas because I have to pass the Bucky's. Nice. Just landed in Florida, currently waiting for a bus to Saratoga. Very cool. And then you're going to disembark? Sorry, I had to do it. I had to do it. <laughs> Welcome, disembark. I love your name. I have, to, I have to jaywalk for a second just to get this view. I'm not going to walk into the water, but I do want to show this from the other side. It's so pretty. Hey, CM. Thanks for being here. Okay. I'm going to wait for a second because there's a bus coming. But I will uh, go back across the street here in a second. Got a little Disney ducks in the pond. Looks like we're clear to cross back over. Usually crossing over is a haunted mansion thing. <laughs> Just kidding. We don't want that. We don't want that. Um, a lot of these little areas are just kind of um, little circles. In fact, I think I stayed back here last time I was here. So yeah. This little cul-de-sac is what I meant to say. It's a nice, nice uh, walk through here for sure. Both turn every half an hour. Oh, well, okay. Well then, I guess I'll watch for the next one to come by. That's fine. 
Watch for gators. Don't create a viral video. Yeah, no, we're fine. Like, gators are not a huge concern here as long as you leave them alone. Saratoga is nice for a non-park stay. Nice. Do people do that, actually? That's a good question. Do people do non-park stays? What's cool about these rooms and stuff is that all the vegetation and things around them is just so lush. It really, this whole place is a vibe, for sure. And I'm sure it's very difficult for them to keep up with the landscaping and everything because there's so much vegetation here. But they do a good job. It is huge. So weird to see regular looking roads all in Disney bubble. Yeah, there's a lot of regular looking roads around here though. Oh, there's the bus. Or oh, there's the boat, I should say. Yeah, I think that's a little more often than every half hour. Well, we might head back then. I don't know if I'll make it for that one or not. But yeah, I understand people do non-park days for sure. And sometimes they do non-park parts of their stay. Like, I totally get that. We never did. Just because, you know, we were always younger and wanted to ride the rides and whatnot and etc. So, anywho. Can I reverse guys like that for my trip to Walt Disney World next month? We'll try, Randy. We'll try for you. I don't think I'm going to make this one. So we'll just relax. But I didn't want to walk too much further anyway. I know someone who used to go to Walt Disney World for a month, so didn't go into the parks every day. Relaxed at whatever resort they were staying. Seemed to be a really great vacation. Oh, I'm sure. And if you can afford to be here for a month, absolutely. I think for a lot of people, it's the cost of it. And, uh, you know, even with camping, it's more expensive now. So having that time to be flexible is, is difficult. So, so, you know, you feel like when you're here, you're here for a week, you got to see everything. So I get that. Bill goes back to Dis Disney Springs. Giving my girls the new store-bought pineapple Dole Whip cups. Nice. Not the same, but no, still fun. I did a few non-part days in between because I go for like two weeks straight all the time, but now I'm an annual pass holder. Nice, Sabrina. Yeah, we love the resorts for sure. Fantastic magics. And welcome in all 2,200 of you. Thanks for being here. I said it before, but I'll say it again. Doesn't matter where we are. You guys show up, and I appreciate it. I might make it. Let's see if I can. Non-tranquil. Non-tranquil hustle. Yeah, I think we didn't make it. Nope, she's leaving. Okay. It's all good. There'll be another one along. She'll be along. <laughs> here, let's explore around here a little more so we'll be close by. The air is nice though. Spidey. It's always interesting to see Spider Man stuff at Disney World, even though I know why. Wait for me. Coralines is a perfect resort for a non park day. Yeah, for sure. Resort days midweek are a good break. Saratoga is one of my favorite resorts. Yeah, Saratoga is a lot of fun too. I think I haven't I haven't been there that much, but mom, dad, and Jenna had little bit of a bad time there because they had a 
just a bad experience. They had a room that wasn't good, and then the people, uh, you know, the, the cast members trying to help them didn't really, it was in the middle of the night, and they didn't really take care of the problem very well and whatever. So, you know, it's, again, it's just, just one of those things, but kind of leaves a bad taste in your mouth for the resort. But for me, I just really, we just really never had a chance to stay there that much because we liked the other resort so much. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, Fantastic Magic. Hope you feel better. Uh, by the way, Conk Flats is the name of the little town here. So, that's the general store. So, it's just fun. Fun little place. 108 days. That's awesome, Sabrina. Hey, Javier. Hello, Aladas from Argentina. Sorry if I said your name wrong, but I tried. And we will have to, actually we won't. I was say we will have to go through security, but we won't actually because we're not going into Disney Springs. We're just gonna go get on the boat back to uh, Port Orleans, so. Isn't that awesome? So beautiful. Yeah, we'll try and do some jazz music and beignets. We'll see. We'll see. That's the plan, but uh, you never know. I was a little late today because I had a long meeting today, but we got a lot of things fixed, so that's good. Uh, per, yeah, I remember Y2K. I was 21, so I remember. I watched that documentary about it the other day, actually, because I'm that big of a dork. But no, I like learning about stuff. and. Um, especially tech related and I watched a documentary like yeah what did happen to Y2K like yeah I wonder you know and anyway bottom line is um, people said oh that wasn't a big deal it wasn't a thing it wasn't a real issue and what it ended up being was they actually they overstated it for home computers it was never really a risk for home computers but for you know mainframes business computer servers it really was a real issue um, and they just worked really really hard and put a lot of money and time into it to get it fixed it was one of those situations where they fixed it so well that it looked like it was never an issue in the first place, that there were very few issues on Y2K. Kind of interesting little documentary for sure. Anyway, I love this place. No, it's not by Floridian. It's uh, it's uh, by it's close to Disney Springs. I'm staying at Saratoga Springs right now, and if, I, if you come over to Disney Springs by boat, come over to Disney. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm heading that back. I'm heading back that way right now. Headed back that way right now. I can't talk. We have rented in Reunion for the last several years, but we want to try being on property. Jordan, so you guys see that, um, I see a lot of people live down there, or rent down there in Reunion, but the, the traffic on Lake Wilson Road down there, anytime I'm on 192, that traffic turning left onto Lake Wilson Road, especially at the end of the night, is, is insane. Do you ever have problems with that, or do you just go at off time so you don't have to worry about it? Hey, Disney Mom. That's awesome, Tara. Yeah, Wilderness Lodge is awesome, too. Sabrina, yeah, first few days of school have been... Uh, eventful. Kids are great though. So, just trying to iron out all the bugs and the kinks. That's what you do the first few days. And we get it. We always get it. Hey, Robla. What'd he say? Something about the mayor. Ooh, that does sound legit. Anytime you say the mayor, you know that's legit. So, alright, guys. Well, again, thank you for being tranquil with me today it's been very awesome let's go back up in there in here while we wait for the the boat to take us where we want to go i remember all the work preparing for y2k one holdover to this day whenever i write the date i always write the year four digits i think that's good practice you know i think it's good practice for sure you know until the y you know until eight 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 thousand some odd years from now when we have the y10k bug <laughs> of course, by then, I'm sure AI will probably just fix it for us. Anyway. It's nuts, but we're usually going the other direction. We usually make our way to the parks around 3 to 4. Oh, okay, cool. Lake Wilson 3 Union is packed. Yeah. They're looking at making it two lanes for each side. They need to. Well, and it's just, it's just, that's the only, and a lot of people live down there too. Like, you know, live full time down, not in Reunion, but just in, <clears throat> in uh, that area. In Champions Gate. So it makes it really, really hard. So that's one of the places, actually, um, that I just, you know, for transportation reasons only, I just recommend people to be cautious about it, about finding a house there, because 
even though there's a lot of wonderful places, it's, uh, transportation can be definitely difficult at certain points there. So, hello. Uh, Anna Starrett, two dollars. Please say happy birthday to Uncle Bill. He turns sixty today. Happy birthday, Uncle Bill. Why ten k? Yeah, why not? Because you know, then we'll need five digits for the date, and then what will we do? <laughs> hey, David. I hope your return to the classroom is going well. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. That's going really well. You got David T and uh, David D and B. Either way, super awesome. Back from the school meeting, that didn't take long. That's a quick meeting. School meetings are usually not that fast. Good for you. Let's go. Unless it was a virtual meeting, either way. That's uh, that's nice and fast. All right. Oh, is there a boat here now? And I'm missing it already, and again. No, there isn't, we're good, we're good, okay. All right. I love the font used on the old Key West signage. No, that's not off topic. It's totally on topic. Love it. I like fonts too. I'm not like, I don't know a lot about them. I just like certain ones. The Epcot font being one of my favorites for sure. For sure. Oh, here comes one. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty regular. I like that. Jordan's of this past June, we experienced the weird champion's gate lane orientation heading the Publix from the right side of the road back and left. Yeah, I haven't been down there yet uh, since they put the Publix in, but I saw it from I-4 the other day. Yes, that's right, Blue Polo. It's so crowded there because there's no other way to get in and off, on and off of I-4 there unless you go all the way to 27. What an absolutely beautiful resort. Great job tonight, Josh. Thank you so much. Uh, Stream Finder, I appreciate that. Bum, bum, bum. Chowie says they come out about every 10 minutes. Nice. Well, that's perfect. Oh yeah, Chuck, yep, just doing Disney Springs Resorts because it takes too long to get to the other ones from here, but we can always do other things on other nights, for sure. There is a chance I may not be doing a Tranquil Tuesday next week because I have a school meeting that night, or it may be late. Yep, just doing Disney Springs boats tonight. Because, it, like I said, it'll take longer than what I want to go to, to get to the other stuff. Well, I mean, you know, who knows, but... What a great idea. Thanks, Michelle. Spider-Man, what makes this so amazing is I work all day and relax to your stream. You work all day and then keep us going. Thanks, Spider-Man. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, Michelle, it's very tranquil. Uh, it's not a rainbow. It's actually just the way that the sun has its gradient. meeting actually at the shopping stream not really okay if you're wondering yes you can uh, drive up to two scooters on the boats here just park them right in there so if you're wondering yes you can do it wheelchair scooters it's all good go bum bum Try and sit up further this time. Okay. Relax and hear the movement of the water. Let's see. Okay. So, I'm going to try. Uh, let's actually try this side. That'll be it. the other side, the opposite side from where we were last time. But we're going the other direction. So, 
All right. Wow, Chuck. Wait. Oh, Chuck, thank you so much uh, for that $50 super chat. Wow, that is very, very generous, Chuck. Thank you. Appreciate it. Very much, Chuck. All right, guys. I'll, I'll selfie later. They have people all around me, so. But thank you so much, Chuck. It is very much appreciated. Everybody's thanking Chuck in the chat. We appreciate you guys for being appreciative. The ride through Windermere the other day was super awesome. Super helpful to us. Enriches our dreams of moving down. That's awesome, Jordan. Nice, David. See you soon. Hey, Iz, how are you? I heard you're a little sore. I got Jimmy Buffett. Come on, day. Be all right. Good stuff. I'll let you guys just enjoy. Oh, thanks, Chuck. I appreciate it. Yeah, there's something magical about Jimmy Buffett for sure. All right, guys, I'll let you enjoy the ride a little bit. If you're seated, remain seated. And if you're standing, hold on to the handrail. If you your hands, arms, and legs inside the boat, the through to the other side there, but obviously way too small to fit a boat through. I always wondered if you could fit the little water mouse boats through there, but they had it roped off, of course, wouldn't be safe. Awesome, Linda, have, have fun on that old boat there. out on top like always.
course, I have stayed at one. Super awesome. One of our awesome hoppers gave us a, a stay there one time. It was so, so much, very helpful. Oh yeah, Streamfinder, I know they do a lot of work to make that, make, make this uh, waterway maintain and stay a reality. I'm not sure which ones were. I didn't notice them. I'm not sure. Maybe somebody else knows. Favorite resort? Um, Polynesian. Yeah, it could be Robert.
actually are boat ramps uh, right there in front of House of Blues. There's also one uh, close to um, the uh, oh, skip or whatever it is. What's it called? The, no, the Indiana Jones thing. Anyway, the, the bar there. I can't remember the name of it now. Oh, Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. That's right. So right by the Hangar Bar and then um, by the uh, Rainforest Cafe. But the only one that's operating since COVID is the one by the Rainforest Cafe. We used to stop at several different docks along the resort. Uh, that, uh, that concert with the uh, UA Fatone was amazing. Bye, bye, bye. Yep. There's the Ampa car. Those are actually roadworthy cars that also are boats. I'll see if I can. I'm not sure. We'll see. Sometimes I don't feel comfortable asking questions. Sometimes I do. David, no, not a fever dream. They used to have a drone show out here in the lake for Christmas. It was really cool. Oh, that's awesome, Amy. Sunset, look at that. See if I sing along, then they can't copyright it, right? <laughs> look at that. Just like the thumbnail. Oh wow, Amy, yeah, I've heard it's so hot in Texas. Crazy. Well, stay cool. Stay, stay safe. I don't know this one. Oh, that's awesome, Renee. I'm hoping I can get on another boat before the sun sets. That would be really cool. Uh, so, yeah, so... Um, Weidenbergs, we are in well, sit in Citrus County. Yeah, you guys aren't that far from here. Uh, we are um, at Disney Springs, the Marketplace Boat Dock, and there was a boat that went to um, Old Key West, and now we're going to try and get on um, um, Port Orleans. So, we'll see. Google says the lake is 14 feet. Nice. Yeah, it depends on like where the waterways might be a little bit uh, shorter, shallower, I should say. Just a second, friends. There we go. All right, guys. Excuse me, was one of these boats go to uh, Port Orleans? That one? Do I need to go back and get in line or how's that? Okay. Oh, I see that. Okay, perfect. Oh, the line is long. Wow. The 
Okay, guys, we're gonna wait. All right, wow, popular time of night for boats, I guess. Makes sense, it's beautiful. Why not? Everybody had the same idea. Holy cow. Keith, $9.99 from Keith Goodnight. Heading to Disney World tomorrow for one of the last Star Cruiser voyages. Oh my goodness. Sadly, it's over on Friday morning or else I'll try to find you and say hi during Friday night stream. Oh, uh, well, Keith, I hope that you have a wonderful Star Cruiser voyage. And uh, thank you so much for the super chat. Yeah, sorry, Wendy, there were literally so many people just swarming around there. I only got the one question in of, of where how to get on Port Orleans. So, sorry about that. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's a reasonable depth, 14 feet. Probably, I'd say it's probably 7 to 14 feet in most places. All right, here we go. So yeah, we want Port Orleans, so yeah, I guess we might as well just go get in line. Uh, we'll see. Look at that. Yeah, I found all the people. So I know I'm not gonna make it on this one. So hold on just a second, friends. Let's see. All right, guys, so let's head over into, um, let's see how far we get. Yeah, see, this isn't bad. Key West is longer. We definitely won't make it. Hey, <laughs> where'd you guys just come off from? Port Orleans? Oh, nice. Have fun. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, that music is so relaxing. By the way, I have that on the channel. Disney Springs background music. Yeah. All right. Okay, here, we'll go, we'll go here. Let's see, wait a minute, where's this one? Looks like we have room. I think this one was the one I wanted to get on, so we'll see. Riverside, first quarter? Yes, sir. Okay. I knew you would. That's right. It's sitting there like that. It's like dinosaur. That's an interesting, uh, oh, it's for Disney Springs. I think it's an interesting song. We have a uh, volcano going on over here. Super cool. Hey, Paul Fox. Yeah, I like both, Paul, but I think probably my favorite one is going to be uh, the Riverside. So, yeah. We used to stay there all the time when we were younger, so. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't make it. That's one of our hopper friends over there, and I should have waited. I'm so sorry. I got freaked out because the boat was leaving. So sorry. For your safety, if you're seated, remain But glad to see you on here. <laughs> I'm very sorry. So everybody say hi to our hopper friend over here. Yeah, it was kind of... um. The boat line was long and I thought I better get in it, but then I made it, so that was kind of weird. I wasn't sure, but anyway. <laughs> and just to make sure the port of call is either French Quarter or Riverside. No way's going to Old Key West. Yeah, sorry. I saw the boat line and I was like, oh no. People getting on the wrong boat. So we're all good tonight. Once this boat pulls out, we will be on our way. Sorry, I don't swim well enough to uh, swim over there. <laughs> Sorry about that. He came all the way out. I saw that in the chat, and I just totally forgot when I saw the line.
with everybody saying hi to you in the chat. He said he was staying over here at, at um, Saratoga. Hi, Sarah. Was that you? My name is Chris. I'll be your captain to get you back there again. Two stops tonight, French Quarter, and then Riverside, French Quarter, and then Riverside. Give me 15 minutes to get you back to the uh, French Quarter dock. I'm going to put the mic down. I'm going to enjoy this sunset. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them. Oh, Leaf, I'm sorry. I should have waited. I'm so sorry. I'll be back a little bit later. Maybe I'll see you when I come back. My brain was my brain was dead. Yeah, well, I'll see you in a bit. We'll come back here in a little while. We got to come back to Disney Springs. We got our car here, so it's gonna drop his phone. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see you in a little while, Leaf. I'm sorry. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful?
little e ticket. That maroon five. Fifty ducks. There's no, these are free floating boats, no tracks here. So they'd have to cross each other and all kinds of stuff. Hey Julie, how are you? Bismo, you're gonna love Yeehaw Bob. Yeah, Deborah, glad you were safe. to actually there's no way to get out of this loop without taking a bus so you um, to get out of this resort area you could get into the Epcot resort area um, just by taking a bus to Epcot but then you'd have to probably the easiest way to do it would be to take the bus back to Disney Springs and then take it back to a resort and then every time you go back to Disney Springs you could take it to a different to a different resort area because the other one would be um, the only three places connected the only places connected by boats are this one Epcot Resorts and, and Hollywood Studios and then the last one would be Magic so on the right hand side you'll start to see the Treehouse Villas those are part of the Saratoga Springs Resort Treehouse Villas there are 60 of them you'll see them all along the right hand side of our boat. They have their own uh, bus stops, they have their own pool, and their own dock. We'll see that as we round this corner. Hello, Bernardo. Does anybody want to guess what the number one ask question I get. Hey, Captain Chris, how many alligators have you seen in the water? Well, guess what? I've been here a year and a half. I have never seen one in these waterways. Now, I have my thoughts. It's Florida. I saw one over the weekend on a different lake that I was on. But our boats start at 7.30 in the morning and we go till midnight. So there's much better places. If you want to see a gator, go hang out on the golf course and you'll see them on those gaining ponds all the time. And then second most asked question, how deep is the water? Right now we're probably seven and a half feet. Uh, right now. Um, all of this is the Saskatoon's man-made the lake that we were just on. That is a natural lake though. And over the summer we're going through a drought. Our water drops so much. Right. 
right here in the water. That Riverside, there is a pontoon boat. Fishing boat, and you can charter a fishing boat here on. That's interesting. So that's a fish feeder right there. This is completely man-made and seven and a half feet. I fixed the light. That one's riding at an angle. All right, guys, I didn't see it was on and off. I would have fixed it earlier. So he basically said over the summer, the water got so low here that they couldn't so run the boats for about two weeks. What did those greens ever do to them? <laughs> yeah, the stream solid, been solid for a while, guys. You can rewind if you missed the info. It, it probably was on there. But I just said it again, too. Oh, thanks. Fantastic magic. Oh, yeah, there are definitely coyotes in the area. I hear them every night most nights at my house. A little scary, but that's why we had our dog, we had a fence. As I round this next border, we will see our first destination, Port Orleans French Border. As I approach the dock here at the French Border, remember those safety rules that if you keep your arms and legs and feet inside the boat. If you are sitting, please do remain in your seat. If you're standing, remain standing, holding on to a seat back or a handrail wait for me to get that final hold here before going ashore. Again, this stop will be for the French Quarter. Next stop will be Riverside. Hey, Ron. It's funny, Ron did some of these boats yesterday, and I was like, oh, great minds think alike. So cool. We didn't even talk about it, because I was already planning on doing it today, and he did it yesterday. It's so funny. And he did a great job yesterday. I was passing those luxury accommodation places years ago on this boat. Think of my family. Oh, that's awesome, Kalina. I think more than anything, the gators are afraid of the noise of the boat. So the stream was pixelated while I had the quality down because of the uh, lag. It's good now. Wow. Disney Golf, thank you so much. Hold on a second. I'll say, I'll read it here in just a second. get out here because I'm feeling a beignet. Then we'll go over to Riverside if we have time. Hopefully we do. So Disney Golf, thank you so much for that $50 super chat. We appreciate it so much. All right, so Disney Golf sent a $50 super chat. Thanks for the relaxing boat rides. Josh, thank you so much. Appreciate it very much. All right. So this is the, uh, this is the pedestrian exit and then they have the scooter exit over on the other side. 
you. You're welcome. So yeah, but Disney Golf, thank you so much for that $50 super chat. Let me selfie it up here real quick. There we go. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. It's very kind, very generous. And Chuck, thank you for your $50 super chat earlier as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. And yes, I will go back the other way here in a second. I was just kind of strolling. Is that like a cell phone tower over here? All right. Everybody looks tired. Yeah. It's not even Epcot, right? Every person comes out tired? No? Okay. There we go. Now we can crank the signal a little bit. Yeah, boats are definitely a chill way to see the resorts. And don't get me wrong, guys. We will definitely do another boat tour part two where we do maybe Epcot boats or, you know, whatever. Like Epcot boats or Magic Kingdom boats. Like instead of Magic Kingdom monorail, we can do Magic Kingdom boats. So it's all good. We'll do it. But guys, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, Gators fear the motor noise. Yep, exactly. Uh, safety first, one ninety nine. Take a boat ride to Discovery Island. I wish I could. Actually, uh, on the fireworks cruises, they will take you by Discovery Island, but they won't. Uh, obviously, you, they won't stop there, but they'll just show you, um, you know, where it is and everything. So, here it is. Hello, how are you? <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. We're going to stay at, not to Epcot today, but I told my son you'd be here. Oh, awesome. Are you guys staying around here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just over there. Very cool. Well, did you guys want to say hi to everybody on the stream? Yeah, always. Yeah. Well, there we go. Fix it so we can see you. There we go. Hello. What are your names, guys? Uh, Phineas Martin. Nice to meet you both. My wife Sammy over there who doesn't want to be on Hello. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. She's Instinctively, he points and I, I point the camera. <laughs> yeah. It's an instinct. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, where are you guys from? England. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. What part? At Leeds. No, Yorkshire. Oh, okay. Yorkshire North. Okay, Leeds. Yep. I, I've not been there. I'm, I'm, I've only been to Germany and Austria. I'm hoping to visit more of Europe eventually. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah. you know, it's just uh, the cost part that gets in the way sometimes. <laughs> but I do want to go and visit. So, it would be so awesome. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I know it's sometimes hard with the time change, you know. But uh, you can watch the replays if it gets too late, right? Yeah, I usually watch it on a Sunday morning when I'm making my Mickey waffles. Oh, there you go. That's the perfect time to do it. That's the perfect time to, to watch when you're making Mickey waffles. <laughs> That's excellent. Well, thank you guys for watching. I love the Spider-Man outfit. You must be a Spider-Man fan. <laughs> excellent. Well, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your trip. Of course. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you, Ryan. I'm the music teacher from Boston. Oh, nice. Nice to meet you. Ryan. Cool. Do you want to say hi on the stream? Sure. This is Ryan. You said yes. from Boston. Ryan. Very cool. So are you uh, staying around here as well? Uh, no, I'm over at the Terraria Hotel. Have you heard about that one? I have. I have another group of uh, hoppers that met me and said it was really nice. It's really nice. Free food, breakfast, dinner every day. Wow. No resort fee. It's, they got their own bus system. Yeah? It's really nice. Does it go to all the parks like Disney? Yeah. So it's down the Disney Springs area. So it's... Uh, so you can... I can walk to Disney Springs from there. It's about 10 minutes. That's cool. Now, I did... Um, I, we did get invited to a media event there, and I couldn't make it. Well, first of all, I could make it the one, and then they had, like, a fire alarm problem and canceled it, and then I couldn't make it to the second one. But uh, the lady would run in the media seemed really nice, and it seemed like it was a really nice yeah, area, so I'm glad it is. Nice place, really clean, so. Very cool. Yeah. How's school going? Oh, it's going. It's going, yeah, it's going up, forward. Uh, September 7th, so... Yeah, no, today we're, we're just getting all the, all the scheduling stuff worked out because uh, you know there's glitches and things and uh, so we, we, we added a period to our schedule so we're trying to work that out uh, but I think we got the majority of it I was I was late to the stream but because the meeting was late yeah, because was we were getting it worked out I, just, I was on the next boat after you <laughs> oh cool no so you know I'm sure you know how all those things are but yeah. it, luckily uh, um, have a great team and great kids and great you know everybody so we all were working together to get it fixed and so that teamwork, was, right? teamwork makes the dream work man Did you get a picture? <laughs> of course Thank you. Oh, for sure. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Nice to see you in the chat, all right? <laughs> of course. All right, have a good night. Okay. Christelle, what did you say? Let's see. Today is day six with my newborn. Oh, congratulations. Awesome. I love how they have the Disney Springs sign here. Like, they tell you what the rules are. That's kind of cool. Although, I think all those things are, you know, pretty much the rules here uh, at the resort, except for the, uh, the proper attire part. Obviously, you can wear swimsuits and stuff here to go to the pool. But other than that, the rules are pretty much the same. All right, well, let's go see if we can get a beignet. Can we see fireworks from there? Probably not, Lisa. Probably not. And I, 
I'm not going to, uh, not going to probably see fireworks tonight. If we do, it'll be great. But if not, uh, it's not in the plan tonight, but we'll do it. Obviously, most other streams. So, I mean, we might be able to see them, but I think it would really heavily depend on where you are because um, we're close enough to Epcot, but the trees are tall enough that you might not see it. So, either way, thank you guys. If I keep walking up that way, I will end up, if I keep walking up this way, I'll end up at Riverside, but we're not doing that. We're going to uh, French Quarter here. Beignet all day. Hey, Herschel. Hey, Disney String Band. Yeah, so anyway, super fun, guys. It's been a great night. And uh, just really appreciate you guys joining me for Tranquil Tuesday. All over here in the resorts. Yeah, cherish all the memories. Oh, say hi, Mom and Dad. Hi. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, we're giving uh, free beignet samples in the, in the um, food court. Free beignets? Little, little samples in the food court. Still, that's cool. I don't know if they, but they were a little while ago. Well, we'll have to check that out. Thanks. I was going to get a paid beignet, There's but not many people in there. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, definitely a paid beignet, but I, I, free is even better. <laughs> awesome. Right, good to see you, yeah, you too. Enjoy. He said free beignets, guys. <laughs> so beautiful here. Like, look at that, seriously. What a cool shot. Oops. Can you show the pool? Oh, uh, Sabrina is... Sort of. The playground here. Liam likes that. So. Then you blank in there, freshman. Yeah, David, exactly. Um, so, I remember those days with Liam. Like, I remember very vividly. I, I'm glad I have these memories. And I actually wrote it all down. Liam's birth was quite an adventure. Nothing quite went the way we had planned, but I think that was a good lesson for both of us, that things don't go the way you plan. If you know Steph, she is a planner to the nth degree. And uh, so, you know, I mean, I knew she was the one that needed to feel comfortable through this, so I uh, supported her through that planning process, and none of it went <laughs> at all how we had planned. And uh, that was okay, because he ended up happy and healthy, and I just remember very vividly. He was born at like one something in the morning on June 13th and he uh, was of course perfect and you know we got we just you know everything he was healthy they they did all the initial checks everything's good heart rate breathing everything was great and it was like okay awesome and of course we'd been awake you know Steph and I both for whatever she'd all the work but we'd both been awake for 48 60 hours something like that a long time so we both lay down to get some sleep when he finally went to sleep at about three and uh, I just remember laying down that night and thinking, what did I do? <laughs> what did we do? What did we do? Like, not in a bad way, because obviously we, we, you know, whatever, but just thinking about, there was just this fear. Not, and not that, you know, again, not that we didn't appreciate him being there, but just that it was like, at least for me, so here's the pool. It was like, am I gonna be able to do this? Am I gonna be able to be a good dad? Am I gonna be able to be up to the challenge? Am I gonna be able to handle everything? Am I gonna be emotionally, physically, mentally ready for this and just that so that was in the like what did we do and whatever i remember that but then i also remember then just you know after that and he woke up and i kind of went to went to sleep with that you know kind of a fear and uh i remember waking up and of course i got him and made sure he, you know i don't know i don't think he had his first diaper change for several hours after that but um i got him and i um held him and Make sure he got to Steph so she could feed him. And I don't know. So I just picked him up and held him. And I just knew like it was going to be okay. He will never sleep again. No, actually, we sleep quite well. Liam's a pretty good sleeper. He was not for like nine months. And now he's a very good sleeper. So, I mean, and he gets, he's old enough now. He can get up on his own and go play in his playroom and stuff. And Steph and I can sleep in. So. Oh, thanks. Fantastic magics. Yeah, so. But, you know, it's those doubts that you have. And like I said, when I picked him up and, you know, after after sleeping and wondering if I was going to be okay, I picked him up that next morning and just, I knew it was going to be fine. So, yeah. Isn't that awesome? My daughters did not go as planned. It was perfect. Yes. I was so excited when my daughter turned 18 and thinks she's finally an adult. But, nope, you'll still worry. Oh, for sure, Sabrina. No, I know I'll always worry about him. The weight of being responsible. That I think, David, you've got it. The weight of it. That was the better wording. The weight of being responsible for a helpless human is about as awesome 
an immense joy when you hold your child for the first time. Yeah, I think at first it's the immense joy, and then after that it's the awesome sense of responsibility, and it just it is overwhelming. So, but it's also amazing. Yeah. Oh wow, Dave. But sounds like she uh, sounds like she ended up amazing and healthy. That's awesome. One of my favorite resorts, a clean version of French Quarter. Yeah. You know, French Quarter when I was there wasn't wasn't too bad. Um, I wasn't there during Mardi Gras, but yeah. Either way, I don't know what I was trying to what I was trying to convey there. Just kind of the, you know, just the fear of like, okay, I, I'm responsible for another person. I don't want to mess this up. So anyway. My child is now two digits. Enjoy the single digits. Oh, for sure. Fantastic magics. And I, I am. I am. Every day. He does a pretty awesome little kiddo, for sure, Kristen. He was telling me how these kids were giving him a hard time at school. And instead of, you know, going back at them, he wanted to help them so they could be better. Like, he's just so cool. The enormity is very soothing. Oh, thanks, Sarah. Yeah, so I think that's very soothing. No, very sobering is what, I, what you said. I read it wrong. Yes, for sure. I refuse to believe she's 10. Uh, too funny. So let's see if the jazz group is playing. Let's see if the jazz group's playing, and then I'll grab a beignet. I need to use the restroom, so I'll take a little BRB. Go to the restroom and see what's going on here. Our five kids range from 23 to 6 months, and it doesn't get easier worrying about them. Oh, for sure. I tease my daughter, now 19, that I call her my roommate all the time. We joke and laugh about it. That's hilarious. Yeah, okay. There's not there's not too big of a line for the beignets. I don't see any samples. It must have been earlier. Unless there was in the food court somewhere. Okay, and I don't think yeah, there's no jazz here tonight. I think the jazz is only on certain nights. Yeah, I'm not sure. But yep, looks like nobody's set up to play. Okay, cool. Alright guys, so we are going to go to BRB. I'm going to find the restroom over here, and then we'll, then we'll get in line for beignets because we got to have them. we got to have them. I just want three. It's vital that we have beignets. I don't care how long it takes. I don't know. It just... Um, just talking about the first moments with the baby how you, will you make it with this little person yeah for sure Amy anyway so not to, not to scare anybody because you will be fine but just you know um, yeah for sure yeah Christelle so got me thinking about it but it's amazing hi hi how are you good how are you good we don't want to postpone your stream you're not you're we fine well, hello. What are your What are your names? Uh, I'm Hannah. I'm Valerie. Nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. Did you guys want to say hi on the stream? Sure. Hannah and Valerie from where? Georgia. Okay. Um, we found your streams during COVID. Yeah. And it was just so special to us, and um, we just want to thank you for that. We watch every week. Well, our pleasure. You're very welcome, and thank you so much. Thank yeah, you so much. Amazing that so many people were connected. We're still meeting people that that yeah. found us during COVID, like yeah. literally two or three years later. So. It's pretty amazing, so yeah. thank you. For I sure. think I was watching some of yours before you started here, right? when you were just doing the quiet streams and walking yeah. through. This is our daughter Jessica. And okay. She was uh, loved to watch the Disney videos. Okay. So that's cool. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Shake hands? Yeah. Do you live close to Disney? I do. I do. Where do you live? What's up? She is um, with, I believe she's at Epcot uh, with Dale, having a good night. Let, let go, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Josh, do y'all have a dog? Uh, not anymore. Uh, he passed away, unfortunately. When? Uh, in November. Huh? In November, a few months ago. What was his name? His name was Cole Porter. His name was what? Cole Porter. Porty. Based on a jazz guy. <laughs> kind of a funny name for a dog, but so anyway. Okay. Yep, eventually we will. Eventually we just will. Just tell him what your favorite ride is that he want, that he rides. What do you well, like to watch him ride? Um, I like to watch him ride Expedition. The Everest? Yes. 
Awesome. <laughs> that's your favorite ride, or that's just the one you like to watch on the stream? Oh, that's her favorite. She oh, okay. Very cool. All right, well, that's awesome. No, so not much. yeah, absolutely. And did you did you want to say hi on the stream too? Yeah. There we go. All right, and got 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 Dad back here, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so cool. Ah. Well, that is so cool. Absolutely. You just like anything, you know. You just got to start making some videos and get into it. It's super fun. So, I bet people would love to hear your thoughts on the rides. <laughs> yes. No, no, she's fine. Yeah, she's at Epcot right now, feeling good. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, she's doing good. But thank you for asking. <laughs> Bye. See you guys later. <laughs> All right. So, uh, it was very nice to meet them. I am going to find the restroom. I believe there's one over here. And then I'm going to, um, and then I'm going to uh, do a little BRB and uh, take a little uh, restroom break. All right, so, I feel like it's a, uh, it must be a night to remember Corby, which is pretty cool. I was just talking about him. You know, isn't that cool how things work out? Like, how did you know? How, how would she have known earlier that we were just talking about Porty? Um, not earlier. We're talking about Porty because my last time I was at Key West uh, was the night that he passed away. Um, like, not sorry. I stayed there the night before he passed away, and then I went home that, and he passed away later that night. Anyway, not to bring up sad memories, but um, but yeah, I, I think it's you know I don't. Know, it's just kind of a night to remember him. So after I use the restroom, I'll have to. Uh, have to show a picture of him on the stream for anybody who didn't know him, but he is such a neat little dog. So, uh, Leaf Watson, 1999. Uh, another great night with Resort TV One, but would have been great to see you. But I've been up since 3 a.m. Took Amy to the airport. Oh, Leaf, I'm so sorry. But thank you so much for the super chat. And I'm sorry that I just ran and jumped on the boat, and then from far away I, I I couldn't see exactly that it was you. So I apologize again, and thank you so much for the super chat. You definitely didn't have to do that, especially uh, since. You know, I completely messed up not waiting for you, but you're so nice and so kind. So thank you, Leaf. I appreciate it. Hi, how are you? Hi, uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. I just woke up and I saw it. I am watching you all the time. So. Okay. Yeah. So did you guys want to say hi on the video? <laughs> and what are your names? Lynn and I'm sorry? Lynn. Lynn? Marakiko. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah. From where? Canada. Okay. Ah, very cool. French Canadian. <laughs> yes. And you know what? I was on the boat, and I must have been French Canadian people behind us because somebody on the stream says, I'm French Canadian, and those people are definitely French Canadian. Not you guys, but somebody else. Oh, yeah. They could recognize the accent of they were okay. speaking French, and they said they sound like French Canadians. So okay. that's pretty cool. So you've got some neighbors up here <laughs> from the same area, probably. Yeah. You guys from Montreal or Quebec area? or? No, New Brunswick. Oh, New you said that already. New Brunswick. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. <laughs> okay. That's really cool. I have not been up there. I've been to uh, Toronto and Montreal and all through uh, Quebec and then drove over into Vermont from there. Okay. So yeah. Eight hours, yeah, up, yeah. up the coast. Yeah. Very cool. I still kind of remember my, my geography. So, <laughs> What struck me when I was in Canada, especially in the French-Canadian part, was how quickly everybody switched back and forth because I don't speak any French at all. And we would go to a restaurant like McDonald's and they would say bonjour and we would say hello and they would switch like that. Okay, okay, okay. And it was just like so fast to switch to either English or French with what to me sounded like a perfect accent. It was really cool. So okay. anyway. It's called a shack. Yes. It's a mix of French and English. Oh, okay. So we, we, here in, in Florida, we have a lot of people that speak both Spanish and English. And when they mix, it's called Spanglish. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. Yeah. And I didn't make that up. That was uh, a lot of my students who are Spanish say, well, you sometimes speak both English and Spanish, and we call it Spanglish. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So same thing, c combination of the two. Well, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, that's Oh, thank you so much. That's really cool. Olaf. <laughs> of course. Yeah, let's take a picture. Of course, of course. Awesome. Are you alone? Yes. yes. Yep. Just me, okay. just hanging out, enjoying some resorts. So, okay, nice. yeah. Okay, okay. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you so much. This is cool. Night. Have a good night. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
yes. We love Porty. Yep. Okay. Cool. Well, let me go ahead and hit the BRB real quick. B R B. This is so cool, by the way. So beautiful here. So here we go. Ooh. Give me just a second. So, all right. So we are going to say hello to our BRB. I'll probably just use the Disney Springs one or something or other or whatever. I don't know. But either way, we'll say hi to BRB and then we will uh, enjoy some beignets after that. Maybe. Oh, that's awesome. Fantastic magic. Gina would approve of Spanglish. Also a very cute Adam Sandler movie. Oh, was that a movie? That's right. That's cool. Yeah, my students always used to talk about Spanglish because they did. They really did speak both a lot of times. Unofficial Walt Disney World ambassador makes everyone feel welcome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right. Let's see. Can I use the Disney Springs one? Surely that'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right, guys. I'll be right back. Yeah, we'll see the gift shop here in a little bit. So I'll be right back, guys.
Welcome back, everybody. If you're just tuning in, we are at Port Orleans Riverside Resort. No, nah, sorry, Port Orleans French Quarter Resort. We're about to go get some beignets. I don't know why I said it like that, but either way, they're going to be delicious no matter how I say it. It looks like the line's not too bad, so let's do this thing. By the way, Sasagula is the name of the river. If you heard the, the, um, the boat captain talk about that. Some of the stuff the boat captain were ta was talking about actually uh, was hard to understand, but he, because um, of the lag, not not because of him, he, he said it perfectly, but some of the stuff the boat captain talked about uh, was definitely harder to um, harder to understand because of the lag. But anyway, um, he talked about, first of all, that the, the water level got so low on the resort, uh, on the South Lagula River, that he was not even able to... Um, he was not even able to run the boats for like two or three weeks during the summer, so that was crazy. So, he also talked about um, how the water's seven and a half feet deep and how it's all man made. So, those are things that they talked about there. This is cool trombones and all kinds of things, clarinets, and lots of cool pictures. Got Louis Armstrong and banjos and everything. Yeah, no, I just said he was restroom, and I was talking to our uh, music teacher, Hopper friend. He was telling me about some things he'd been doing music-related. Florida, let's see, south of Jacksonville stays cooler than up north since it's a skinny peninsula. Yeah, for sure. Not too much, not too much cooler, though. Fence Patriots require a lower tone voice. That's true. CMF347, $199. Thank you so much for that $199 super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's kind of hard here to not not uh, show other people on the stream, but we're doing the best we can. This is where I need, this is where I need somebody helping me. In just a second. My favorite beignet trick, buy the beignet Sunday and bite one of the ears off the beignet and stuff with ice cream. Ooh, wow, that's a good idea. Did you get the music for the Springs BRB? Uh, yeah, yep. I um, actually got that from a friend who uh, recorded it somehow. I don't know, I didn't, I didn't record that one. Uh, no, so Yeeha Bob is at Riverside. Uh, not this resort, but still, pretty cool place. Yep, fun times. So yeah, we're just gonna get three beignets and uh, I need to get a Coke, but I'll have to go get it. Maybe I'll have to go get the Coke at the uh, at the store. So that's all right, easy peasy. I want to try the Haunted Mansion beignets. Oh yeah, I'll have to show those. I want regular ones, but I'll have to show you the Haunted Mansion ones. I'm gonna be boring because that's what sounds good, but I'll show them to you. They're in the little display case here, so that'll be fine. The saxophone over here. Hey Theo. Where the resorts are so great. Thanks, Fantastic Magic. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're gonna go get some good news. Last time the line was all the way out to the food court, so this is much better than it was for sure. The ideas were out on Friday. Oh, Jeff says monthly channel contribution. Well, Jeff, you definitely don't have to do that, but we appreciate we appreciate the support for sure. Remember, I'll always be free. But yeah, we'll, Friday night we have a very, very fun stream planned. And let's just say there will be fireworks on Friday night. That doesn't really give anything away, but be super fun. Interactive WBW, we love Port Orleans. We'll be right there. French Quarter, that's awesome. Interactive, it was good to see you guys a few weeks ago. Don't forget the gluten-free ones. You know what? Let me ask her if she wants some. She sometimes doesn't want them because it may, might, even even though it's good, you know, better for it, might make her feel worse. I just text her to ask her if she wants some, and if she doesn't, then that's fine, but yeah, I don't want to make her, if I get them for her, then she's going to feel like she has to eat it if she doesn't want it, so I'll ask her first. <clears throat> Sometimes I do that and get myself in trouble by trying to be nice. I 
that's awesome. Kira used the Disney beignet recipe for Father's Day. <coughs> you said in a different show, Jenna's going to a party night and you're going to a different party. Oh, Fantastic Magic. Yeah, that'll be for uh, Christmas. Because uh, I, I can't go to the first Christmas party, apparently, because I have a concert <coughs> that night. So that's all right. Oh, awesome, Elizabeth. Oh, Captain said there's no gators in the waterway. Yes, he also said that. He said he's been doing this for like a year and a half and he's never seen a gator in the waterway. He suspects that they might come out at night when they're not running the boats because the boats are loud. So any gator would probably be afraid of the boats. Okay, Steph said no. She said no, she didn't. Okay. You love the patterns in the ceiling, guys? <laughs> I'll show you these these beignets here in a second. Thanks, Fantastic Magic. Yeah, it'll be fun. And I'll show you the grave the graveyard ones here real quick. There you go. That's a lot of mansion ones. Hey, Greg. Old Mr. Young dude, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yes, they're very tranquil beignets. Agree. Technically, I wouldn't have to, like, end the stream early, but I do have to work tomorrow, so... I'll eat these and maybe head back to Springs. We'll see. Hi, how are you? Good. I just need uh, three regular beignets, please. There's. I'm sorry. Which ones? Chocolate. Yep. That's all. Josh. That will be uh, four here. Actually. Is it for here they for here they come on a tray and for to go they come in a bag? For here they come in like a uh, full and then to go they come in a bag. But if you get the for here, you only want one, you get the a bag to go. Okay, got it. So for here? Um go ahead and just get to go so I have the bag. Thank you. Alright, so you're talking seven ninety eight. Alright. Did you want your receipt today? Yes. Thank you. Perfect. Hey there. There you go. All right. Yeah, the music's so fun. Excuse me. Are you good? Go check out the saxophone over here. Yeah, and was, uh, Steph said she didn't want one. She texted me, she said she was good. So, I did ask. That's why I was asked, because, you know, she would be upset with me if I didn't ask. Uh, con. Okay, I was just looking to see what kind of saxophone it is. It's con. Cool. Cat Cats Jazz Club shirt. Ran into you Saturday as you were leaving MK. Great to finally see you in person. Thanks, Spence. Appreciate it. Yeah, they moved that line pretty good. So I just have to wait for our time. This 
goes into the Scott Cats Club here. Uh, listen, I wish I could send one your way. This is the uh, different blues songs here. This is Basin Street Blues. <laughs> Interesting how they notate the uh, dotted 816th there. <laughs> That's pretty close. I don't know if I was perfect on that, but close enough. Basin Street. What else is up here? I don't know all the rest of these as much. Basement Blues, I know a little bit. Yeah, the Scat Cats one's cool. I should have worn it tonight. I don't know why I didn't think about it. That would have been a good. That would have been a good deal. Billie Holiday had a double album when I first stepped back in the day. Got them in a lot of jazz albums at a garage sale. Nice. Hey, Lucas. That's why I played the drums. Only have to read rhythms. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I don't know that I got all those rhythms right. I was kind of looking at the stream more than I was looking at the notes, but pretty close. Hey Bryce. Is Dixieland jazz looked down as inferior by jazz musicians? Absolutely not. It's one of the ways that jazz started. It definitely is not looked at inferior. It's just a different style. Not everybody knows how to do it. It's actually one of the more difficult styles to play because it's very free and you have to know how to be free correctly. <laughs> as opposed to just being kind of free randomly, if that makes any sense. You have to know the you have to know the parameters basically. To improvise. And improvisation is not random. It's definitely within a set of rules. Otherwise, everybody knows that it's not correct. Uh, yeah, Gracie, school started on the 10th. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Tiffany. I try my best. I'm definitely, definitely not that cool. But... Yes. Thank you. All right, I'm going to find a seat after I get some. i got to have a Coke, though. Coke is muy importante. Hey, Charger Principal. All right, this is where I here. Let me put maybe put my uh, uh, put my uh, chocolate sauce in the bag. This is where I need an extra hand. I I, I actually prefer the beignets by themselves, but I am gonna put the chocolate sauce in there here. Here's a preview. Whoa! Look at that. I finally got the focus. Wow! I wish you could smell that. They're warm. Just saying. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. Oh gee. Gracie, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, Mickey. Yeah, we're not going to Mickey's Not So Scary this Friday, but uh, hopefully we get to meet you while you're on your trip. <clears throat> that would be amazing. So it's, let's see, I'm going to go grab a Coke, and then I'm going to find a seat where I can enjoy some uh, beignets. We got our AC on 64. Wow, Vicky, I don't think mine will go down that low. Uh... We keep ours at 75 during the day and 70 at night, which is way cooler than most people do. But we have a very efficient air conditioner, and we uh, like it cold. Plus, with Steph's conditions, she uh, really needs to have it cold. So, And I like it cold anyway, so that works out fine. <laughs> it's one of the things we uh, always have agreed on. All five of us ended up with three pounds of candy. Wow, Paul. Yeah, I got a bunch too, and I didn't drink at all. Drink? I didn't eat at all. <laughs> Did you drink your candy? I don't know. Maybe maybe you can now. All right, here, let me get my get my Coke. Okay, wow. 
Those beignets are just like literally like in my nose right now. Like I feel like I'm already eating them. <laughs> Hi. Okay, sorry, I'm not gonna go on a very good tour of the store, but hopefully you, the store, hopefully you can figure it out. So I need to go this way. Hopefully you can figure it out. What it looks like. <laughs> These beignets are calling my name. Love the music. Hello. I have an annual pass for a discount. Let me grab that real quick for you. Uh, are you living? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. On which platform? YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. Are you uh, you're from France? Yeah, I'm from France. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. What part of France? In the north of France. North of France. So close to like uh, Normandy. Um, like two two hours away. Two hours. By car. Yeah. Okay, very cool. <laughs> Have you ever been to Normandy? My friend has. He visited there on the what 75th anniversary of D-Day not too long ago. Mm -hmm. That was a big. He he's a big historian, so he yeah. visited up there to see. This is a good place there for history. Oh yeah, so much great history over there for sure. Okay, credit card. There we go. Credit, yeah. Uh, credit, yeah. Would you like a bag, maybe? Um, nope, I'm good with just having it loose. I will take the receipt though. Do you have like a lot of people there in your life? Uh, 2,175. Yeah, so we've got quite a few. Quite a few. <laughs> Thank you so much. Did you want to say hi to everybody? Hello. This is Matteo? Yes, from France. From France, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. I met so many people from so many different countries today. So cool. I like it. Ooh, you know what, friends? I wonder if we could find a place out here. I think we can. This is this is what we need to do. This is this is a hundred percent what we need to do. Okay. Yeah. This is the spot right here. I was trying to figure out where did I want to eat, and I think I know. Let's see. <laughs> Those chairs are serious, man. Hello, how are you? Not bad. I recognize you from the YouTube video. Oh, very cool. What's your first name? Josh. Josh yeah. I gotta love the People Mover shirt. Yeah, that's you awesome. Like that? Oh yeah, it's my favorite ride. Yeah, it's good. Uh, we saw you inside, and they said I think that's it. Oh, cool. And, uh, yeah. You guys want to say hi on the stream? You want to say hi? Come here, Sarah. Sarah will say hi. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi. Sarah, Juan, and Sarah. Okay. And, nice uh, to meet you guys. My wife's up in bed sleeping. Oh, hey. <laughs> Got to get ready for tomorrow, right? It's been a long day, yeah. We're okay. Just, uh, Boston at 2.30 this morning. So, wow, okay. Yeah, so it's been a long day. Yeah. Are you by yourself tonight? I am, yeah. Just doing a little Tuesday fun. Got my beignets, so I'm ready to go. Yeah. Just going to kind of chill out here and enjoy some beignets. Oh, my God. We just, we got, I didn't realize how big they were. We got six of them. Yeah, I only did three, and I probably won't finish them all, but I got the oh, bag, so. We had one upstairs. I'll have a breakfast, but they were, uh, they lived up to their reputation. So. Oh, yeah. They were really good. And I've been to New, New Orleans and done the Cafe du Monde, yeah, so I don't, they're not quite to that level, but they're pretty close, yeah, so. Yeah, it was worth it. So. Yeah. Well, it's good meeting you. Nice to meet you. Okay, see you then. Bye. Uh, yeah, Vicky, we hope your surgery goes very smoothly. Lots of hoppers tonight. Salut, Mateo, yes. Josh is so patient, friendly with everyone. Oh, thanks, Kevin. Well, you know, I mean, I think about, even if I'm like, how do I say it? Even if I'm, you know, kind of feeling like just, you know, not being like, even if I'm not feeling like super good at that point, like 99% like of the time, I'm like 100% like, um, just really enjoy meeting people because it's so amazing to me that people watch us, you know, and want to say hi. Even if I'm not like feeling up to it, I just really think about like how, you know, how I would feel if I met and how I have felt when I met some of my favorite YouTubers. And, uh, you know, I
Hi, hey, Josh. I'm watching you from Argentina. Nice. We are a multinational group of people here. It's very cool. You gotta get a bunch of them. Okay, I think I got them. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Da -da -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> Do you want a bag of powdered sugar? Uh, David, the bag is pretty full of sugar. I don't think you'd need any more. <laughs> I don't think you'd need any more. All right, I ha I'm going to have to open this, this uh, Coke very gently. Okay, let's go, let's go back out and find a table. You know what? I have an idea. I actually want to face the other direction to give a real strong New Orleans vibe to the stream while we eat the beignets. And it doesn't matter because they're both kind of like in the in the in the light there, so you'll be able to see fine. Yeah, let's do this. I feel like that's a cool like New Orleans vibe. Okay. Yeah, no, there's totally a side of beignets with the sugar. Hey Serrano, how's that? Isn't that nice? Get a little better New Orleans vibe going there. Beignets? It tastes kind of like a very, very, it's like a deep fried powder sugar donut. But also with a little hint of kind of a pancakey texture in it. Tranquil Tuesday might be my favorite stream because Josh is always just chilling and enjoying the news. Thank you. Yeah, Serrano, isn't it great? Great music. <sighs> Gotta put the kids to bed. Yeah, I can totally get that. Okay, so, this is what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to grab one of these bad boys with a, with a uh, napkin. Show it off to the stream. There you go. Yeah. Look at that, huh? Isn't that beautiful? The thing of beauty is a joy forever. What gimbal do I recommend? Either the DJI Osmo, like I have, I have the Mobile 4, or... The Moza Mini MX. They're getting harder to find though, the Mozas on, on Amazon. They have a Moza Mini MX too, but it's not very good. So gimbal options are definitely limited now from what they should have been. Mm. And inside looks very similar to a donut inside. Two round discs above the entrance. It looks like Mickey ears. Oh, that's cool. If you stand the right distance from them. Nice. Dazz and beignets. Yep. You couldn't get more New Orleans unless you went to New Orleans. Yes, yeah, so I have tried beignets from the Mint Julep Bar. And guys, this is a whole vibe right now. I'm digging it. Oh, man. I wish you guys could all have one. Literally. I wish I could push a button and everybody would just have one. Hey Adam, great minds think alike. <laughs> Excellent. Awesome. Highly recommended. <laughs> That's why I said great, great minds. Now I'm not gonna do. We're not doing that. We're just kind of chilling and doing some boats. But that's cool. You're doing carriage ride. You just did it, or you're doing it soon? Oh, awesome. Oh, beautiful. I have to try that sometime. Hey there. We got a runner. <laughs> Mm. 
guys. There is a, definitely a large, a large. Uh, I can't show it on the screen, but there is a large contingent of powdered sugar on the bottom of the bag. Get me a Staples Easy button. I need it. Hey, Shannon. Oh, you love it. You're gonna love it. Doesn't get much more tranquil than this. It doesn't. Thanks for dragging the chairs. The sound reminds. We're pretty busy too. Well, Josh can what play the piano? Yeah, I'll play the piano in chat. Yeah, and eat I mean, beignets. Isn't it amazing? Kevin, that's awesome. We'll be rewatching this on a happy place. It is a happy place here. I can understand that. Prescription beignets. Why not? If I lived close, I would probably come here every time I was upset. That's awesome, Shannon. Or Sharon. That's awesome, Sharon. Sorry, I can't read. Well, that, yes. You know what? There have been times I've gone out. My go-to when I'm upset is probably Epcot. Just because it's easiest to get to. So if I just need... Like, it hasn't happened much. But if I just need Disney right now... Then I'll go to Epcot, usually. At least before I was streaming. Oh yeah, David, for sure. It is like fried dough. Awesome, Chelsea. Ha, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Good for you, Vicky. <laughs> yeah, that's too funny. Fantastic magic. Thanks, Tom. Oh, my chat died. Hold on. Where have the chat's been dying more lately? How many beignet night is there? I don't know. Right now I have, I have three. I don't think I'll finish three. I think the second one's all, all I'll be able to finish. I'll save the chocolate for the last one. Do you ever get burned out when Disney loses its charm? Uh, you know, a lot of people ask me that. It's a fair question. The answer is no, not really. The only time is when the only time I ever get burned out a little bit is when people are rude. But that happens and it's just like hot tire, people are rude, and I'm like, okay, I wanna go home. Right now I come back, I'm fine. Well, I'll definitely let Liam try the third one. I don't know, Steph will Steph probably won't let him have it for breakfast because she doesn't want him wired at school, but yes. The ferry boats are cool, but yeah, except for locals, we just wanna we just wanna get back to our car, exactly. Oh, is the shop in the resort TV one hoodies? Nice. Guys, uh, check out shop.resorttv1.com. We got Halloween shirts, we got all kinds of stuff. I have a resort hopper shirt on right now. So I'm hopping resorts. Oh yeah, Diana. Tranquility for sure. Uh -huh. Motto, nope, no fireworks tonight. Sometimes it's okay to do that. Change it up a little bit. Why not? It's worth it. Come on, folks. He needs our support to get through that third one, you know, for science. No. I don't want the science to be, does Josh get sick or not? No, I'll save it for my buddy. We do have hoodies, Plymouth Rock. Yeah, we do. We like the original Resort TV one zip-up and the Friday Night Live zip-up. Nice. We have lots of different kinds. Shopped at resorttv1.com. You can do the original logo, resort hopper, or several other different designs. And they're all available in teacher or tour sweatshirts. So if you live in a colder climate and you need the sweatshirt, by all means. Of course, the sweatshirts are a little more expensive, but that's anywhere. And then that's that's because we have to pay more for the sweatshirts, obviously. Hey, Chomps. Oh, yeah, Sunshine's still got our fundraiser going on, guys. Go check it out. Sim Simmer, 73. She's raising money for SMA. You research and find a cure for SMA, the condition that she has, and she would love to uh, raise some money to uh, do some research. So even if you want to just donate $5 or something, she would appreciate that. I'll bet the moppers can post the link because they're awesome. Mm -hmm. 
sorry if I'm talking too much to make it tranquil. Ah, two beignets down. I gotta stop. But in my defense, I did show you what they look like. I'm buying to add to my own hoodies of my business. Nice. How different is the Disney experience living in Indiana and Florida? Echo's dad is different because you don't ever feel that anxiety about having to come back or leave or try and get it all in and just relax and do stuff like this and be like, eh, I'll come back whenever. Awesome. Very awesome, Chomps. Almost there, he says. Thanks, Nanny Pooh Bear. Well, I guess if you guys didn't like my voice, you probably wouldn't be watching, so. I'm glad. Hey, Katie. You love your resort hopper sweatshirt. Nice. Yeah, the music's great. Yeah, let me selfie real quick. I got the, uh, it's probably, it's probably messy now with white powder, but <laughs> I've got the Resort Hopper shirt on, so, yeah. So go check it out if you want your Resort Hopper, um, t-shirt, you can go get one on shop.resorttv1.com, so go check it out, so, all right, let me switch back over, here we go. Or they're watching on mute, well, that could be, that could be, and that's fine too. Doesn't matter to me. And I totally get that. Sometimes I watch streams on mute too because I need, you know, I need it quiet. So that, that doesn't bother me at all. And we've always made this not about us; it's about the parks. Oh no, no, it's totally fine. I didn't take any offense to that, uh, it, it, Icarus, at all. How's the no powder sugar on your shirt? I'm not sure. There's definitely some on the table. Here, I'll show you. Yeah, definitely the table was clean, so it isn't anymore. But I wiped it off the best I could. <clears throat> Let me show you what's left in the bag here. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. I could use a little more powdered sugar in there, but hey, it's all good in the neighborhood. All right. I need one of those shirts in that color. Oh, nice. Yeah, I love that Resort Hopper shirt. The Rainwaters helped us design that, so please... Again, all the shirts are at shop.resorttv1.com. You can get them anytime you want. We're open 24 hours a day. I'm trying to think, what haven't we done? Oh, some of the sponsors. We haven't done um, Magic Band Readers. Magicbandreaders.com. If you want to get your very own Magic Band Reader for your home, definitely check out magicbandreaders.com. Use code. Sorry. How to hang up. Use code uh, resort15 for 15% off. Magicbandreaders.com, use code RESORT15 for 15% off. Not nearly enough sugar. I know, David, it does need some more sugar for sure. More sugar. There was some in the bottom of the bag. It was kind of hard to see. The first one had the, the first beignet had the most sugar on it. And it's still really good. You have a shirt with People Mover? I think we have one in there somewhere with People Mover on it. Anyway, go check it out, guys. Magicbandreaders.com, use code RESORT15 for 15% off. Here, I'll show you. I legit sat in that spot when we stayed at Port Orleans. Great vibes, yeah, for sure. And being outside is the best. Here, let me pull up the Magic Man Reader thing in my doozle. Uh, well, we'll head back to Disney. We'll head back to Disney Springs because it's time for me to head home. But it's been a fun night. Check this out. MagicBandReaders.com. You and Dad said the exact same thing at the same time about powdered sugar. That's funny. There you go, Magic Band Readers thought yesterday while watching Jenna, do you have any idea how many fan picks you've done over the years? Oh, definitely hundreds. Well over a hundred. I don't know. No idea. I'm getting a Christmas shirt. Yes, we got lots of Christmas shirts. We got uh, Christmas shirts coming out too. <clears throat> yes, this is French Quarter. So I'm not going to make it to uh, Riverside tonight, but that's okay. Oh, I hear fireworks. Okay. 
Yeah, that thing, uh, yes, the Magic Band Reader will work with Magic Band Plus. It'll even work with your phone. And there's even a little button on top of it to make it do its thing without a Magic Band. It's like, say you're walking into your house and you, you're showing a friend your you know, Magic Band Reader or you just walked in because you don't normally wear a Magic Band to work. I mean, if you do, no judgment. But, like, uh, you're walking in and you just want to hear the Magic Band sound, but you don't have your Magic Band on you. Just push the button and it'll work. So that makes it really good. Oh, Beignet would be writing TTA. Yeah, that would be awesome. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Spend together, not the amount. So, I think that's good. Don't get me wrong; I would love to do more all-day streams and stuff, but I am thankful for what we get. I'm very thankful for the time we get together. Oh, that's awesome, Plymouth Rock. Ten days till my parents get down to Disney. I give them a DVC room, but don't know they don't know I'm coming. That's awesome, Mike. Yep, so I think the quality of our time is, is really awesome. Did that work? Not quite. There we go. Alright. The hard part is going to be carrying the beignets. Maybe I'll put them in my backpack and hope that they don't explode. I think I've got them battened down pretty good. We're gonna try it. Yeah, we're good. If my backpack smells like beignets, that's not the worst thing in the world. There are way worse things your backpack could smell like. I suggest every Tranquil Tuesday should end at the French Quarter. I wish, guys. It takes a while to get here would be the only reason why we couldn't do it. I'm sure you've done it before, perhaps on the tech channel. It'd be awesome to see you walk through the gear you lug to get a, uh, to get an all day stream done. Oh yeah, for sure. It's not a lot, honestly. We, we keep it pretty small. We keep it pretty small. Would you mind saying hi to my wife, Madison? Hi, Madison. Let's say good night to this awesome resort and we will see you, see it next time. I did not, I was, I was feeling a, a regular one tonight. Did you? Oh, those are cool. Those are neat. Do you mind if I show them on the stream? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, I have it full oh. hand, so I don't want to drop it, but that is really cool. Yeah. Wow. So what do they taste like? Cookies and cream. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Does Jenna know they've got beignet ears in here? And they, are and they smell adorable. like beignets. They're so I will good. have to ask her about that. Right here at the yeah. register. Okay, I'll have to check I that thought. out. Maybe we were looking for them last time and they weren't here, but now they are? Does anybody remember? I don't know. I don't. I, she says ears, and I, I kind of like, oh yeah, ears. <laughs> they do so very fragrant too. It's not just like a little adorable. beignet smell. It's like wow, a big beignet that's cool. Smell. I, just, I almost bought them. I just put beignets in my backpack, and I said, I don't care if my backpack smells like beignets because that's actually a good thing. It is a good. <laughs> that's a good problem. All right, guys, have a good night. Yeah, enjoy those beignets. Oh, <laughs> no, you're, you're good. She's like, thank you for opening the door for me, though. <laughs> Good night, guys. Yeah, she's cute. Oh, okay. I'm just like, you guys have a good night. Okay. Thank you. Oh, here they are. There we go. Okay, this is what we're talking about here. All right. They sure do. They don't smell quite like beignets, but they definitely have a nice smell. There you go. Beignets. On ears. All right, second favorite resort. Oh, Ooh, that's a hard one. Maybe Old Key West. Yep, they sure do. They're cute. <laughs> Confirmed. Yeah, and they do smell really good. <laughs> okay, 
Yeah. I'm gonna tell her. She probably send me back here in a minute, but I gotta work. I gotta work tomorrow, so I gotta get going. You might as well just buy it now. Well, knowing her, she already got them, so that's the only. Night, <laughs> nah, guys. Don't let your doctor know you're eating beignets. I have a, I have a heart doctor, a cardiologist appointment here coming up. So, yeah, we won't tell him. Like, shh. I don't think he watches the stream, so we'll be fine. All right. You guys are sworn to secrecy. So you can see the difference in size between the two resorts. Here's uh, French Quarter, where we are right now. And here is Riverside, so much, much larger. Just sent you a DM. Okay, BitRitz, thank you. I'll just take four Lipitor tomorrow. Why not? Why not? This place is so awesome. It's so magical. I like it. All right, I'm doing a texture or I'm gonna feel bad. They have beignet ears at the French Quarter store. Of course, it didn't get beignet right. Beignet. Nope. <laughs> okay, voice to text, definitely failing. I'll just have to spell it out. It's a, it's a bin yay. That's hilarious. The secret is safe with us. The temperature is wonderful. I don't know what it is, but it's wonderful. Hi, Mr. Cruise Fever. I have a feeling we're gonna be shopping in a few minutes. Yeah, we'll see. <clears throat> Okay, I'm, I have, I'm a little ashamed to admit that I had to look up how to spell beignet when I was making the stream because my brain just couldn't do it. But now I know how to spell it. it looks like beige nets. Benahu. <laughs> There's some things that voice to text just won't do. As my gator. I know it actually did B-E-E-N, like Ben, like I've been there, and then yay. Oh, she didn't know. Whew. All right, let's just go this way. It is a word that's meant to be looked up every time. I know, right? Beige nets, yeah. Beige nets without without it without an e. I can't spell it either. Why not beige nets? Ah, the smell of chlorine and probably a little bromine and Spanish moss. Gorgeous. All right, we got to go. I wonder if the pool probably closes at 10. I don't always get to listen, but I play your streams religiously while I do my own editing. That's awesome. Break it yourself. Well, thank you. The blood curling pool scream, scream, I know. It's gonna be hard for the cast members to know what's a real scream and what's a play scream. Uh, I don't know where the area across the hot tub is. I'm sorry. I can't really get in there and like I said I'm not really super comfortable streaming a pool So I'm not gonna go back in there Just because I feel like weird if you know people are kids are in there And I want to be showing people's kids in bathing suits and whatever so as a father So you guys will have to Have to just look up a picture online probably for that. Sorry. Yeah, I get really weird about filming pools because people definitely look at you funny when you start doing it anyway. So, hey Chelsea. Unfortunately, we outgrew it in 2009 with the third kid. Yeah, that's we had the same issue. So, I don't think I'm gonna make it. can't walk in there without a room key, but it is one of the coolest hotel pools for sure. As a middle school AP, I admire your stamina at 920 and B. Yeah. Well, let's be honest, middle school principal, that's like a whole thing. 
for sure. So, yeah. All right. Well, they definitely um. Yeah, I'll wait. Yeah, exactly. David, that's my whole thing is I got to be really careful about that. But anyway, like I said, I understand wanting to see it. I'm just telling you why I don't, I can't do it too much. Serena has to go to bed to work it. tomorrow. Yeah, your bedtime is nine. I should go to bed at 9 since I have to get up at 5.30, but that's okay. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's do a little bit of stroll up and down. We'll wait for the next boat to come by, and it shall be fine. You can hear the waves crashing up on the shore there. Let's just walk down the sidewalk just a little bit. We'll just keep an eye out for the boats. Ones coming from Disney Springs are going to Port Orleans. Now this is some kind of sell something. I feel like you're a night owl. I am and I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be. I just, ever since, especially ever since we had Liam, you know, obviously he's the priority while he's awake. So when he's asleep, at least just a couple hours to get stuff done. But obviously I'm not going to trade time with him for sleep. So... It's okay. I can sleep when I'm old. Been to the resorts many, many times. Uh, Port Orleans is on my to-do list. Oh yeah, definitely. Or I, yeah, you definitely want to do it. Nighttime boat rides are awesome. Oh, thanks, Chomps. Yep, nice stream. How can there be gators at the waterways man-made? Oh, because um, you know, gators can walk from place to place, so they'll just they'll just they'll just definitely walk wherever they want to go. So, yep, they can come out of the woods or wherever. Yeah, gators can move quite a bit. Good call. That's why you and Jenner are so successful with this channel. You both think things through and have lines you won't call, cross when filming. I work in TV and between it's the total opposite. Oh, sorry, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah, that's a whole other conversation, unfortunately, sometimes. But TV, news, all that stuff. So different than it was when we were younger. But... I kind of have faith that eventually it'll turn around. It's got to at some point. <clears throat> so. Hey, Cindy. Yeah, 5.30. Yep, sleep is a premium. I used to say that now. Sleep on a mobile at 50 now. Yeah. Favorite moderate resort? Uh, probably Riverside, even though I like this. Gators just, Gators just mosey. Yeah, they do. They do. They're not in a super hurry. Gators, so creepy to think about gators coming out of the forest. Yeah, but they literally don't, they don't mess with people. They don't really, there's very few times when, an, you don't read too many about like unprovoked gator attacks on adults. Yeah, if you're in their territory, if you're messing around with where they are, sure. But if you're in a predominantly human area, they're going to stay away from it. Because, you know, a lot of people say this, they really are scared of us, just like we're scared of them. Because we're really tall compared to them. So they see us as being very large, uh, which is what I've read. Um, even though they're a lot of times longer and taller than we are. So yeah. Anyway. Hi, Sarah J. Long time no see. Hope you're doing good. Four to five hours of sleep and ready to go. I can function on five, but I really have a hard time driving home at the end of the day. It's just, it's painful. So I drive home at like four o'clock and that's when the that's when I need a siesta. Oh my siestas are getting shorter and shorter. Michael, mi amigo. Sorry. I went full tiki room there. Hi Rich Rimple. I just trashed Ewoks. Wait, what? How did I do that? Riverside is cool. I like the bayou. However, I like New Orleans French Quarter. Nice. 
Those things are territorial. Oh yeah. No, and, and like I said, generally, they uh, they know that, you know, I mean, yes, if you're out there in their area, and especially, you know, those people that live in the bayou and stuff, they know how to deal with gators, you know, because they've been around them their whole life, and they don't survive if they don't deal with them. But, like here, they're generally not going to try and take over a mostly human area. That's awesome, David. Their bite force is ten times stronger than humans. Oh, for sure, yeah. No, you don't want to mess with them. But I'm just saying they don't they don't start you don't hear about gators like starting stuff, right? Like they're not out there like looking for a fight. Alright, so that is the one going to Riverside. And then we'll wait for the one going back to Disney Springs and we'll be good to go. Oh wait. They say Disney Springs. Hold on. Is that going to Disney Springs? Yep. Awesome. <laughs> thank you. The dock is moving. Okay. Hello. Hi, guys. Let's see. Yeah, it's a nice place for sure.
check those out actually. Um, they're pretty expensive, so I just we haven't usually used them, but yeah. Oh, we need to visit Swanee River. That'd be amazing. Yesterday was my birthday. I want to say so much to you and Jennifer for bringing the magic to me. Resort TV One, NSYNC, MK, Jazz and Boats. Nice. Happy birthday, Joy. much to see here but it's all right So glad you guys are enjoying the stream. I see a lot of nice comments. We got the same music. Not a bad thing. I like this channel, I love it. Oh, that's awesome. be the boats coming this way have priority. One of the best streams. Thank you, Score Jason. One of the best streams I've done. Wow. Yes, they still have House of Blues. Oh, for sure, Greg. Yeah, I hope everything's okay and down there in Oregon. That's right, Robert. November 9th is the first Christmas party. That is correct. Anniversary tomorrow, that's right. Happy anniversary. 
anniversary. Also, be sure to check out Jen and Dale's channel, Adventures of Jen and Dale, and my new channel, Re Retro TV One Tech, and of course, Resort TV One Homes. the ride on uh, on Amazon. If you want to find your favorite Disney rides and how they were created, just go to Amazon and search for Behind the Ride. You'll find all your favorite Disney rides there. Behind the Ride on Amazon. San Antonio, Steve, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Sorry your day wasn't good, but hopefully the stream was, was better. show called Drawn to Life. It used to have Lanuba, now it's Drawn to Life, a show about animation. David.
the mad cow that's a paddlefish now. It used to be a Fulton's Crab House. All right, we'll go ahead and go through security and then we'll, uh, and we'll probably wrap it up. Here we go. Gorgeous night. Beautiful view. There's the boat. There goes the balloon. Oh yeah. This time of night I would recommend taking the bus. Probably be faster even though it is beautiful. So. Goodness. Is this the part where you go to Neverland? Yeah, could be. Wow. That's quite the line. Yeah. Probably better take a bus about now. Huh? There are cool gators near Rainforest. Yes, there are. Okay. Awesome guys. I don't know what one this is. I believe we stayed there a long time ago and it was a whole different resort. But I don't know what it is now. Tamara, $10 super chat. I really enjoy these Tranquil Tuesday streams. Thank you so much. This one was wonderful. Thanks Tamara. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Jeff, I wish we could stop by Raglan Road, but I have to, I got to work tomorrow. If I didn't, I don't know about Raglan Road, but I definitely would be stopping uh, somewhere to uh, enjoy um, just an, a fun little evening at Springs. We do little strolls and stuff. You guys know by now I don't I don't sit very long sometimes on streams. And there's nothing no, you know nothing wrong with anybody who does. Jenna does a great job doing some just relaxed streams like that. So I have to learn to uh, have to learn to relax more but anyway we're gonna do Disney Springs BRB we'll be right back we'll see you then all right guys so enjoy the BRB we'll be right back we'll see you inside Hilton Buena Vista okay cool be right back
Welcome back, everybody. All right, let's walk on out of here. We can walk out together. So. I feel like the marketplace here at night is very magical. Like the lights in the trees. I don't know. Always been very magical here at night. I'm glad that they haven't changed this very much as far as the, the buildings and stuff. The stores have changed, but I like it. It's very magical. All right, are we back? Yes, okay, thank you, Noel. Yeah, the Christmas shop is great too. For sure. Jenna loves the pen shop, but they're all good. Okay. Liam used to really love that train. Now he likes the bigger one. I used to ride that, I remember. Very happy memories riding the little train. It's like, what happened? Like, how did he grow out of that? I mean, technically he could still ride it, but you know. I'm sure he wouldn't be nearly as interested anymore. Actually, I think he just rode it last this past Christmas, so I guess he's not that far grown out of it. It's not very crowded because it's a weeknight here, so. My girl. <laughs> Talking about. Oh, the dancing fountains. Yes, Missy, for sure. Yeah, this is a night. This is a neat place. We, It doesn't get enough. Definitely doesn't get enough love. Obviously, when it was the only thing open, you know, during COVID for a while there, everybody was coming here, but we just wanted our Disney fix. But this place needs more love for sure. Gorilla sandwich, yep. Yes, you cannot film in Disney security. Some people do, and that always makes me nervous because I hope, I feel like all of us, you know, I feel like it's a risk that all of us are going to get in trouble at one of these points. So I feel like everybody, the vlogs and streams need to be very careful about shutting off in security. Just so, you know, Disney, it's their, their rules. They could, they could at some point automatically just say, okay, that's it, no more. So, so anytime I talk to anybody, I'm like, I don't want to be the streaming godfather, but at the same time, like, I want to protect this for all of us. So if, you know, somebody doesn't follow the rules, that hopefully just reflects on that one person. But yeah, so anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. Oh yeah, Joy, for sure. My wife has to deal with uh, allergies and cross-contamination. And I know when I'm ordering food for her at like different places like Chipotle or whatever, she'll, a lot of times she will say that, uh, or that I'll get funny looks from all the people that, you know, are preparing the food. So that's hard. got a premiere tomorrow. Resort TV One Homes, guys. Well, if that's not tranquil, I don't know what is. I do need to get going though. 
So, guys, go check out Steph's premiere tomorrow on Resort TV One Homes. Go check it out. Sorry, I missed some notes there. I can't hear myself. All right, so yeah, Resort TV One Homes, guys. Steph has a premiere tomorrow. Super fun. Go subscribe to Resort TV One Homes on YouTube. So thank you, Hoppers, for being here to enjoy a fun stream together. It's been super awesome. Joey was singing with his dad? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, who else? I saw Joey brought out some different people on Sunday and Monday, which was cool. He had an opera singer, which was neat. Or, well, technically it was like a, a Broadway singer singing a fan of the opera, but in an operatic style, which was cool. Then he had, uh, I don't know, who else did he have? Okay, this little track on here, under this part of this, the music is so cool. Very classy. Isn't that classy? Thanks, Carly. Well, good night, Mickey. Thanks for keeping the magic alive over here, friend. There's still a line for the Lego store. Oh, thanks, Disney fanatic. Appreciate you. I know it's getting late. I will stream you all the way out. I gotta go out. I gotta go that way anyway. So super fun. I loop this music all the time. That's awesome. Tonight's been so sweet and chill. Absolutely. And you guys make it chill too. Good night, everybody. Eric's a band director too. Awesome. Yep. If you don't know Resort TV One Homes, of course, awesome channel, but also it's my awesome wife, Steph. That's how she chats now. She used to have her own account with just her name on it, but now she uh, uses the Resort TV One Homes channel to chat with. <clears throat> she wouldn't mind some coffee cake? Oh, I guess we can do that. I thought you, she didn't want beignets, so I was surprised. All right, wait, you want a coffee cake? Let me see. Did she text me? If that's the case, I'm going to need to end the stream. And I'll go grab some if I can. See if they have any. Oh, I see it. Okay. All right, dear. I'll get you some coffee cake. been pretty fun guys let's go over here we'll go with selfie over here we'll end it so I can get Steph some coffee cake you guys feel tranquilized I love it yeah they have the good coffee cake over here at Aaron McKenna's bakery All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me. Super fun. Hey, JK. Hey, everybody. Blueberry crumble. Okay, text me, Steph. <laughs> Make sure I know what you want. Because I'll, I'll probably mess it up. All right. Oh, we love you guys and appreciate you watching. It's been an amazing night. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Wendy. Thanks, Anastasia. Nanny Pooh Bear. Manoa J. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, Jay, no worries. Ninja watching. It's still awesome. There we go. So, thanks everybody. Super fun. Can you show the store? Wait, oh, Aaron McKenna's? Okay. <laughs> okay. It's getting late, dear. All right. I gotta, gotta get home. I was gonna end in a pretty view. 
but I can't. It's hard to buy stuff with one hand. Like I do it a lot, but like this particular thing would be hard to hold with one hand because it's usually a box. So, okay, here's where the store is. Yeah, there's too many people in there. I'm not gonna grab the cam. I'm not gonna drag the camera in there, Steph. There's too many people in there. But this is where it is. It's gonna look weird if I've got a camera in there with like 20 people in there. Not 20, like five or six. Anyway, hey guys, that's what it looks like. Hi. I know you. I, yeah? I see you all the time. Oh, awesome. I, 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 we came from Costa Rica. Nice. America. Oh, that's and awesome. Thomas and Gretel. Very I cool. It's, it's a really pleasure to know you in person. Ah, mucho gusto. You want to know? <laughs> Spanish? Uh, no, un poquito. Un poquito. <laughs> I always see you and your. Yes. Me, 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 your mana. I know that, bro. Yeah. It's an amazing pleasure. I never imagined that you know tonight on this trip for our vacation. It's a pleasure, guys. Right? Oh, thank I, you. I, I, congratulations for your, for your program, for your career in YouTube. Nice to meet you. Thank I you. Sure, I, I, I see you. Many, many times. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys it. have fun. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I tried. Okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna wrap this up. So, Steph, we'll 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 chat and we'll make sure we get uh, we get what you need there. Okay. Yeah, he's very, very nice guy. Very nice. I have, I have a good place to go. Okay. That's all right, Steph. It's too late. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap it up, but we'll, we'll uh, definitely, we'll definitely go for it. So, hope you guys have enjoyed it, and uh, definitely um, be sure to, um, yeah, just thanks for watching, and be sure to, um, be sure to watch uh, the Resort TV One Homes vlog tomorrow. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. It's been super fun. So, thanks everybody. Here, I'll say goodbye in front of Florida. There we go. So, all right, guys. We'll see you. To, we'll see you uh, tomorrow on Steph's stream. So, thanks for being here, guys. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you guys do your thing. I didn't want to be in your way. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> all right, everybody. We'll see you next time. So, for now, have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Bye, bye.